So what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Bad Wolf. All right. So this particular video is going to be about the EIN versus the Social Security number. Now, they're all the same bank of numbers, just certain sections are classified different. And each one of those are looked at differently depending on what status or attributes that are attached to it. You can have a EIN that's taxable, non-taxable, um, partially taxable, et cetera. So <clears throat> the EIN gives you the ability to create an entity, either taxable, non-taxable, foreign, domestic, but what can you really use it for? Well, you can open up one with your own name and operate your entire life as that corporation. It's no different than what they've done with the social security number and your all caps name anyway. So let's just say James C. Lovett Incorporation or LLC or S Corp or C Corp, whichever one you want to go with. But what are the real benefits? Everybody wants to see what are the benefits? So you can start over. Okay. You can create a business. You don't have to have a door brick and mortar business. Literally, you can just operate your life with that new name, which separates you from your legal straw man. Okay. So you can use this to, for example, educational purposes only. Uh, let's say you had a membership somewhere, okay? And you're no longer able to utilize them for whatever reasons are. Well, create a business. Now go back and do business with them underneath that EIN as a registered entity. You can use this to get a business profile and have credit to then be able to go and buy cars, buy a house, whatever you want to do. Okay. So I can't tell you what to do. All I can tell you is that getting a new EIN and operating it with however you see fit for your life is 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 the way to go because if you think that having one name and one social your entire life is going to be the way you're going to get ahead and make it you're not gonna it's not gonna happen you've got a snowball's chance through he double ll hockey sticks to make it and the see the system knows that and they want you at the bottom of the pyramid okay they don't want it rectangular they don't want it square they wanted pyramid. That way, they're at the top and we stay at the bottom. All right. So, for me, it's a no brainer. Operating yourself as a, or, or having you as a living person having multiple avenues to operate your life over here in the private, over here in the public. And just because it's, it's a business entity, you can have multiple ones. You can operate any of them as you, as you see fit, or you can op, or you can not operate said ones. So, if you, yeah, I mean, you could have like a regular business online, operate this as taxable, operate a business as not taxable, operate your life as not taxable by creating and utilizing. That entity. So let's say, for instance, you want to uh, wherever you work. Well, there's nothing illegal about going and creating a faith based organization, a 508 C1A, unincorporated association, a PMA, private members association, um, unincorporated, um, whatever, creating any one of these non taxable entities with your name or a regular business name, doesn't matter, and then 
updating the HR and letting them know this is the new EIN that you want to be paid through and that it is tax exempt. Okay. Companies all the time hire other companies to do work for them through contract. That's what your employment is, contract. Even the word employment is theirs to mean within the corporation. Occupation, corporation, Asian is to animate. Okay, and don't forget corporation, I mean, corp is Latin for body. So you're animating a vessel, an entity, a persona of an artificial person and being. So if you don't have an EIN right now, and you're just using your social, why? People go, well, I don't have any, I don't know what I want to do. Well, I just told you, operate your life. Get, oh, get, uh, you know, put your cell phone in it. Buy, use it to buy your car. What if you operate your entire life as a corporation? And let's just say hypothetically, educational uses only information. Let's say you got evicted. Okay. Guess what? Joe Schmo got evicted and has a horrible renting history. But your business doesn't. Okay. Let's say that you're a felon. You're having a hard time getting employment for the obvious reasons. Okay. Well, What's stopping you from owning your own business and going into business for yourself? You can be a painter. You can be, if you have skills to do the trade, you can do the trades. You can do this publicly or privately. You can do it tax exempt if you set it up as one of those organizations I met, mess, met, uh, mentioned before. But as a corporation, whether you use your name, your given name or another name for, you know, your company. What's to stop you from being hired as a corporation? Because remember, the law states that a person can be treated as a corporation and a corporation can be treated as a person. So for all the people out there who are having these issues, and I've helped people do this for thousands and thousands of people, thousands of times, start over, start a new branch. See, you guys are thinking too linear, okay? One dimension, two dimension. You need to start thinking three and four and five dimensional, okay? It's all business. They've been telling us we 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 need to be doing business, but you guys aren't, you're not getting it. You do not know how to do commerce. You know how many businesses Trump owns? A lot. Like, I think it's like a hundred and some odd different business names he owns. Now, a real business person, you know what they do? They get them a business EIN, and they can just let it sit there. I think it's called a shelf corp. You let it sit there. You put your cell phone on it or this, that, or the other. Guess what? Now it's going to be, or they also call them age corps. Now it's sitting there. Now it's been around for a long point in time. There's people out there who will pay you just to have a corporation that already has what? A credit history. That's age. It's been around. Why? Because one of the secrets is, is that the like when you go for a loan or whatever else, the longer that that corporation has been in existence, the higher and more credit you're going to be able to get. That goes for everything. So once again, if you do not have another social um, uh, um, EIN. Foreign, domestic, taxable, non-taxable, or tax-exempt, whatever. Then what are you doing with your life? Why are you not out there making money? You could be having a, a corpse sitting there right now, even though you don't know what to do with it. Add your corporation on, as an authorized user to your credit card. Get a VARO card with your, with your business name. Start paying your bills with it. Build the credit on there. Like, it's really not hard, guys. <laughs> I've done it two and three times in my entire existence. You know what I mean? I had to build over, rebuild and start over, build over. I like that. It's my own word. Don't use it. Don't take it. Copyright. 
Um, why? Because for me, young and dumb, messed up my credit. Then I got older. My dad passed away, who has the same name as me, same legal name, and um, ruined my credit. I had to get that all fixed up. I had people sending me uh, a bad check, a fake check, screwed up my bank. So yeah, I've been there. I've done all these things. All I'm doing is giving you guys my education and entertainment and experiences. Yours may vary. But yeah, so that's it, guys. Like, go out there and get your EIN, okay? Open up a bank account. How about this? Educational information. Are they trying to garnish things? Are they trying to pin something on your social to make you do this or that? Well, get a business one. Now it's separated. So even though you open up your bank account, because most of them won't let you just have a business-only EIN. There's a couple out there, the bigger ones. All of them really should let you do it. So then you open up with your social, and then you go, yeah, I want to open up a business account now. They'll let you do it. Everything that goes in that business account is separate and distinct from your personal. Now they can't touch that. So learn how to do commerce. That's all. That is how you learn to operate and navigate these waterways known as the maritime jurisdiction. Let's do business. All right, guys, that's it. So if you'd ever be so kind, no, you don't have to rewind, but make sure you hit that bell, like, and subscribe. And if nothing else, just subscribe. You don't have to get notified every time I drop a video. We are so close to 50,000. Let's just get push over that hump. I swear. And ladies, you're still at 25%. Y'all slacking. The guys heard it and they jumped up to 75. You all sitting at 25. So that means only 25% of y'all are actually subscribed to me. Out of all the ones that watch and get the information, and go squirrel it away and go do whatever it is you guys do with my information. <laughs> well, it's not all mine, but my experience is to help you guys to motivate you and to move properly. And you guys have not subscribed. Come on. Let's do it. Chop, chop. Unless you guys don't want me to make more videos, I can go back into the private. Pretty sure a lot of a lot of uh, agents out there would love that. Love that. The wolf's retiring. <laughs> All right. So subscribe. Don't give them what they want. But don't forget, there are actually good agents out there who are holding up the values and lawful ways of the United States of America. So thank you for that. That being said, I'm out. Talk to you guys later. Wolf's out. Let's go do something fun.